Here I am going to discuss the effect on a center of gravity of the vessel when a weight is loaded by using a ship's gear. Suppose this is the berth or wharf and a weight is lying at the wharf. Now this is the ship's gear and when the weight is loaded what happens while loading? While loading the weight is uh, suspended uh, like this. So while loading the weight could be here or could be here or could be here wherever till it is placed at the final position. So suppose weight was hanging like this. So actually weight will work at the head of the derrick. Now we can represent it like this. Suppose this is scale and this is G which is center of gravity and this is the head and let's have some numbers here. Suppose the head is 22 meter and the center of gravity is uh, 6 meter. Well and this is the tank top this is the final position which is going to be 2 meter. Let's also consider that uh, weight is 50 ton and the displacement is 10,000 ton. Now the shift of center of gravity is given by this formula GG1 is equal to W into D divided by WF and here the D is kg of the ship and kg of the weight or kg of the weight minus kg of the ship actually this is the difference. So here in this case the kg the weight is loaded at the head. The, weight, the ship is behaving as the weight is coming at this level or at the head. So we assume that the weight is loaded at this uh, head. So we assume that the weight is loaded at the head and uh, we can easily calculate that the value of D will be kg of the ship which is 6 meter and the kg of the weight which is uh, 22 meter. So value of D is uh, 16 meter. Now the final weight which is uh, W plus W where W is the initial weight and a small W is the weight loaded. Then it is going to be 10,050 ton. So we can easily calculate uh, the value of uh, GG1 which is uh, 0 0.0796019 and we can round off to 0 0.080. Well, the value of uh, kg1 that is new kg will be 6 plus 6.080 and that makes sense also because here the weight is loaded at the head so the gg1 it will uh, shift. So the GG1 it will shift upward because the weight is loaded at this level. Say suppose after loading we loaded this uh, cargo here at this level. Now suppose we loaded uh, this uh, weight at the tank top in cargo hold. So the D will be kg of the ship which is uh, 6 meter and kg of the weight which is 2 meter so the D will be 4 meter. Well, I can explain this here also. Now this weight was hanging like this and later on we put this weight here. So let us work what is the final displacement. Well, the final displace displacement will be 10,000 plus 50. And now we'll work out the GG1 which is uh, W into D. W is 50 ton and D is 4 meter which we now have calculated and the value we get is 0 0.019900497 well I can round off to 0 0.020. One thing is very important here since we have loaded on tank top my G will shift downward. So G G1 it will come down like this. Since weight is loaded at the tank top the center of gravity will uh, shift down that is gg1 it will come down and 
the value of gg1 is given as 0 0.020 which we have just now calculated now the new kg or kg1 will be kg minus gg1 we need to subtract this and we get the value as 6 minus 0 0.020 so it is uh, 5.980 we should also note that after loading my kg is 5.980 meter however while loading the kg was 6.080 so it makes sense also when weight is at the birth the center of gravity is here at G however when the weight is hanging center of gravity will shift upward because the weight is acting at the head however once the weight is placed at the at the tank top which is downward the center of gravity will again come down